As we mentioned in our previous episode of Market Journal, mare's tail was the first weed in Nebraska with confirmed resistance to glyphosate. Nebraska Extension's Ahmed Jala said earlier this spring, glyphosate-resistant mare's tail could be found in 2.2 million acres of the state. We recently talked with Nebraska Extension's Chris Proctor on UNL's field in Northeast Lincoln, where researchers are looking at different control options for the weed. We started by asking why it's important to think about mare's tail management at this point in the growing season. In some ways, you get past mare's tail control season, you like to put it out of mind and move on to think about pigweeds, but I think in some ways it's helpful to go back and think about it while you can see the problem in the field, you see where you had misses or escapes or poor control and start thinking now, what do I need to do next year to get better control? So I think if you can start thinking about it now and think ahead a little bit, it's going to help you out. In general, how hard is mare's tail to control in Nebraska now? It's certainly become a bigger problem. We've gotten more calls on it and hear more complaints about folks having a harder time controlling their mare's tail. Uh, I think in Nebraska, primarily we've seen a lot of it coming up in the fall, emerging in the fall. Uh, and then depending on spring conditions, you may or may not be able to get in the field to control it timely and it tends to want to take off on you. And we're also, it's a weed that uh, there's a fair amount of glyphosate resistant present across the state as well. Tell me about the study you guys did to try and find out which type of control is optimal. Yeah, so we'd, we looked at a couple of different things trying to uh, hone in on some of our better techniques for managing mare's tail in the fall. Uh, so we had one where we were evaluating uh, how much our herbicides were getting hung up on our corn residue if we were to apply in the fall after corn harvest, uh, comparing different, different herbicides looking at that. And then we also have a study that's looking at the difference between fall applied treatments versus spring applied. So we get a really nice visual comparison between the two. What result did you draw from that? So I think there's a couple of things that came out. One, I think almost across the board, our fall applied treatments looked a lot nicer than our spring applied. There was a couple of spring that looked okay, but by and large, the fall looked really good because we were controlling mare's tail and it was a lot smaller. Uh, that was just a better, a more ideal time to control it. Uh, and I think the other piece is uh, looking at herbicides that are more water soluble tend to wash off the residue. So the less water soluble your herbicide is, it tends to bind to that residue uh, and you don't get as much control in the fall if a lot of that mare's tail is hiding under residue. So that was another piece that came out. So your fall was more effective. In general, how effective was the spring at all? Again, it, it ranges a little bit, but a lot of it was, was timing. And so it, if you, unless you can get out really early in the spring, uh, that mare's tail, it gets to a certain size and it, it likes to bolt where that stem starts to shoot up. And once that happens, your control goes way down. And so we saw a lot of treatments that would burn it way back. And it looked like if you showed up a week after, you'd think, oh, we had success. But then you come back two or three weeks later and that mare's tail started to regrow from the nodes. So if you start thinking about next fall, what do you need the grower to do? Any way you can get out in the field in the fall for mare's tail. If mare's tail is one of your biggest problem weeds, I think it's a great time to get out there. You have more options. So the closer you get to soybean planting particularly, you start running out herbicide options and so you have more options in the fall. Uh, it's just one less thing you have to do in the spring. Uh, so I think, I think fall timing is great. We also noticed that dicamba was a really nice product in the fall for mare's tail. It tended to be just a little bit more effective than 2,4-D. And so that's another one that I would start, encourage people to start thinking about. Do you know any about tillage and whether or not that's to the same degree effective? So tillage would certainly be effective, I think in the spring particularly, so you'd have all your mares till emerged. It's pretty well done germinating at that point. You might have a few come up in the spring. So tillage I think would be effective. It's not something in this particular study we looked at, but I know that uh, that is certainly an option. So if, if you have a mares till field that's gotten out of control, that might be your, your last resort. So in those areas where you didn't get good control in your plots now, how competitive are those weeds against the, the crops? Yeah, so it, 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 they grow up pretty big, uh, pretty fast in the spring. And so they're, right now our mare's tail, if we could sell mare's tail, I think we'd be making good money. <laughs>